Hi everyone, welcome to Bharti Yoga, I am Bharti. Today we will be doing a Sukshma Vyayam practice or the light yogic warm-up exercises for opening up the joints. This is a great practice that can be done at the beginning of your asana practice to get the energy flowing, open up all the major joints and helps in avoiding any injuries during the asana practice. This is also recommended for people suffering from arthritis or any joint pain. So once you are ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. Come to a sitting position. Extend your legs forward with feet hip distance apart. Place the palms on the floor just behind the hips and lean back slightly. Straighten the back, neck and the head. We'll start with the toe exercise. Bring your attention to your toes. Start moving the toes of both the feet forward and backwards. Keep the feet upright. Keep the ankles relaxed. And keep breathing. We'll do this 20 times. Very good. Now we'll work on ankle mobility. Staying in this position, start moving the feet forward and backwards, moving from the ankle joints. Try to move the feet forward to touch the mat and then draw them back towards the knees. We'll do this 10 times. Keep the knees straight and keep breathing. Feel the stretch in the feet, ankles, calves and hamstrings. Very good. We will now do ankle rotation. Start rotating the ankles in clockwise direction. We'll do 10 rounds. Then let's do 10 times in opposite direction. You can synchronize your breath with the movement. Inhale on your way up and exhale on the way down. Then let's rotate the feet towards each other 10 times. You can increase the distance between the feet if needed. Now let's rotate them 10 times in the opposite direction. This is a great warm up for ankles to avoid any injuries during the asana practice. Very good. Now let's just relax the legs by shaking them out and gently patting the knees onto the mat. Next, we'll move to knee mobility. Bend the left knee and bring the thigh close to the chest. Place the hands under the left knee and interlock the fingers. Start rotating the lower leg from the knee in large circular movements. Let's do 10 rotations in clockwise direction. Now let's do 10 rounds in the opposite direction. Try to keep the rest of the body stable. Very good. Let's switch legs to repeat this on the other side. Keep the awareness on the movement and try to make the circles as big as possible. This movement helps in rejuvenating the knee joints and activating energy flow. Next, we'll do Ardh Tithli Asana or the Half Butterfly Pose. Bend the left leg and place the left foot on top of the right thigh. Place the left hand on top of the left knee and hold the toes of the left foot with the right hand. As you inhale, gently push the knee down to the floor. As you exhale, pull it up towards the chest. Let's do this movement 10 times. Keep the awareness on the movement in the hip and knee joints. Keep breathing. Very good. Let's switch legs and repeat it on the other side. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you pull the knee in. Do the movement only till your comfort level and do not overstrain. Very good. Now we'll do the Purna Tatli Asana or the full butterfly pose. Bring the soles of the feet together in front 
and try to bring them as close to the perineum as possible. Interlock the fingers and place the hands below the feet. Let's start flapping the knees up and down for about 30 rounds. Keep breathing normally. Try to keep the back straight. This asana is great for stretching the inner thighs and opening the hip joints. Finally, push both the knees down for a breath and then release. Then come to an easy cross-legged sitting position. Bring the arms straight in front at shoulder level. Open the hands and stretch the fingers as wide as possible. Then close the fingers to make a tight fist. Again stretch the fingers. Let's repeat this 10 times. Inhale while opening the hands and exhale while making the fist. Very good. Then straighten the palms with the fingers pointing up as if pushing a wall. Then bend the hands from the wrist so that the fingers point down. Let's do this 10 times. Keep the elbows and the fingers straight. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Keep going. Very good. Next, let's do wrist rotations. Make a loose fist and rotate the wrists outwards. Let's do this 10 times. Keep the elbows and the arms straight. Let's do 10 times in the opposite direction. Very good. Keeping the arms straight, open the hands so that the palms face up. Bend the elbows and touch the fingers to the shoulders. Straighten the arms again. Let's repeat this 10 times. Keep the upper arm parallel to the floor. Exhale every time you bend the arm. Inhale on the way back. Keep going. Very good. Now take both the arms to the side at shoulder level and let's repeat the movement 10 times. Don't let the arms fall down. Keep breathing and have a gentle smile on your face. Then bring both the hands to the shoulders and let's rotate the shoulders 10 times in backward direction. Make the circles with the elbows as big as possible. You can achieve this by trying to bring the elbows together in front. Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Let us repeat 10 times in the opposite direction. Keep breathing. This is great for relieving strain of working on a desk for a long time. This also helps in improving posture. Very good. Then interlock the fingers and as you inhale, stretch both the arms up. Stay here for a breath and then bring the hands down. As you inhale, take the right arm up and as you exhale, bend to the left. Come down. Again, inhale, stretch the left arm up. Exhale, bend to the right. Come back. Finally, let us move to the neck. Take a breath in and as you exhale, move the head forward, trying to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, drop the head back to look up. Let's do this 10 times. Keep breathing. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Feel the stretch in the front and the back muscles of the neck. Very good. Now let's do side to side stretch. Move the head to the right as if you're trying to touch the right ear to the shoulder. Come back and move to the left side. Let's repeat this 10 times. Try to keep the shoulders down. Do not strain too much. Keep breathing.
last one. Now look towards the right over the right shoulder and then over the left shoulder. Let's do this 10 times. Exhale when you look to the side. Inhale on the way back. Do not move the rest of your body. Keep breathing. Last one. Very good. Now we'll end with some neck rolls. Start rotating the neck in clockwise direction. Try to make the rolls as big as possible. Keep your eyes open if you feel dizzy. Try not to move the shoulders. Inhale as the head moves up. Exhale on the way down. Very good. Let's do 10 rounds in counterclockwise direction. Make the movements slow and controlled, trying to get maximum range. Keep breathing. And last one. Very good. Just take a normal breath here. Now all your joints are fully warmed up and you are ready for an asana practice if you want. Hope you enjoyed this and will incorporate this in your daily practice. I'll see you soon. Till then, bye-bye.